Now let's do something a little more complex where we can create two commands, one after the other. Um, now this is really useful if you do something uh, like selecting multiple lines and deleting all the duplicated lines. Um, it seems like this is a group, so let me ungroup that. Uh, I will just type in ungroup, enter, and sometimes you have to explode. Yeah, okay. Um, I will join these objects as individual objects, and because it's a mesh, yeah, it joins them as one object. So that's okay. Um, let's keep them as one object, and I will copy using uh, Control C. So now it's copied to the clipboard and paste. And I will paste this uh, three times. So now if I go here, you can see there is three meshes. So let's see if we use the select. And there is a command here called uh, select duplicate objects. So let's click here. And now it's selected all of the duplicated objects, in this case, two. And then if I press delete, it will delete the duplicates. So now I'm back to one object. So I want to create a button that does that automatically. So I don't have to type in select all of the duplicates and press delete again. So that's two commands in a row. And um, let's see. So here it tells you the command delete is underscore delete. And the command to select duplicates would be underscore select dupe. So let's copy that. I will do a control C to copy. And um, let's go up here and edit the button, edit this button called move. And I will call it delete duplicate. And let's go in here, paste. And I will call the tooltip select dupe. I want to keep that as short as possible so it doesn't take so much space um, on top of the icon. So here we have select duplicate. And then we know that the next command will be underscore delete. Now, I haven't pressed enter between select duplicate and delete, so this will not work. Um, let's press OK. Let's uh, undo the changes that we did here because we have a single mesh and we want to have uh, three meshes. OK, so now we have three meshes. And if I click here, it shouldn't work. Uh, let's see. No, it actually worked. So in this case, it worked uh, because we we didn't need to select anything. It just selected all of the duplicates automatically and then ran the delete command. So if I look back at the commands that we used, um, it will tell you you selected all of the duplicates and then you pressed delete. Um, so Let's look at what's happening here. Um, so if you use the underscore, it runs the command, right? So after selecting all of the duplicates, um, all of the surfaces that have been selected are deleted because we run the delete command. So that's, uh, that's one way to, to do that. Um, now, if for some reason you have more than one command, you might have to use some of these other tags. Uh, so I, I guess at this point, this should give you a good sense um, of how you can create one or multiple commands in a row. Um, so yeah, hopefully this gives you a good sense of how to use um, the toolbar and how to create your own, your own commands. Um, now, the next part I wanted to talk about is how you can save it and import it. So if I go under the options, properties, so that's file properties. Now you get to the document properties, toolbars. And uh, this new toolbar is called test. So if we want to save this toolbar, we can do a file and um, save as, or we can export the whole group. Um, in this case, I will do a save as. And it will say, do you want to save the test that 
our UI. Um, and we do, so let's save it as the test. Save it, yes. Um, and so that's it. So now test has been saved as one of our toolbars. Now, if you wanted to open another one, you would press open. If you want to close one, you can click close. Um, and you can also import additional toolbars.